All right. Uh, this is not the um, the opening to Cyber Sleuth, obviously. Uh, I did want to mention that, uh, but like right after our release part uh, three, uh, DLC was added to the game. So just in case you don't know, I don't know how familiar some people are with the PlayStation Store. So just literally, if you're on PS4, it, Vita, it's the same thing to an extent. Uh, just search, just go to the PlayStation Store. It should load right up. I think you can actually do this while you're in some games, so it's that easy. All right, the welcome menu. The easiest way to get here, just gonna go to search. And then I hate this convoluted search bar, but it's the best way to do it. I wish I could just type it in. Luckily for Digimon, there's not that much stuff in the same name. Sometimes it can get really annoying. Uh, and then once you hit the M, that should be it. So, we have Digimon Story, Cyber Sleuth, and then all these are the first four seasons of the show. Click on Cyber Sleuth. I already have it. So now you want to go to Add-ons, and then Mission Pack 1. Uh, so, this is a free mission pack. I did not have to pay for this. Uh, mission pack contains an urgent request from Mire, Battle 3 Mysterious Hacker. Mire, Mire needs your help. A villainous cinematic case featuring blah blah blah. And Ueno Digi. Er, Ueno? I don't know how to say it. That's a problem we're going to get later in the parts. Featuring the fan favorite Poop Town Digimon Numamon. So, that's free. Download that. Um, someone said the first case starts as early as Chapter 4, uh, which is why I wanted to bring it up now. Because uh, I'll probably be accepting it way through the game so or yeah that's good um, I've done two of them I don't think I've done the new Mon quest yet or I might have I don't think it was in Ueno or Ueno 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 I don't know how to say it someone tell me before we get to that part in the game um, I don't think I've done that one I did the other two the Starmon and Justy or and uh, Justymon one is pretty funny and the hacker one is just pretty it's all right um, continue so I'm actually doing this Thursday night instead of Friday day. Um, and as of right now, nobody guessed it. Oh, it's so good. Victory. Feels so sweet. Oh, it's great. So if you guess it after this, it's too bad. You're too late. Um, the, Digimon <laughs> the Digimon it was, it was Zanbamon and let me see if I can remember his name. Um, it's... Okay, cool. I already have it in my search history. I don't want. I want to get the pronunciation right. That's why. So it was Zanbamon fighting a. Well, load up faster. Come on, let's do this. All right. I can't see how to pronounce it. Oh, name it in the module. Uh, we'll just call him Gaumon or Gaum Gaumon or Gaiaumon. That's how it's pronounced. Gaiaumon. So this is Gaiaumon. Uh, Zanbamon, you should know. He was from. Um, Digimon World 3 was a huge pain in the ass. That's at least how I know of him. I think he might have been in Gross Wars at some point. Um, so, Gaiaomon is actually uh, part of the Greymon family, and you can get to him from Rise Greymon instead of Shine Greymon. He's a virus type. Uh, fun fact, I picked this Digimon because I accidentally Digivolved to him, like when I was just trying to clear the silhouettes out. Like, he's in this game. And then I found out later in the... He appears later in the story. <laughs> as a somewhat main, not main character, maybe a, we'll call him si side character, but I was like, oh shit, I hope nobody gets this. No, because it's fucking impossible, because I put two, here's the thing, uh, he was in Gross Wars, I guess he fought a Nightmon or something, um, and I guess he was in uh, Dawn and Dusk, so I don't really feel that guilty, you guys had ample chance to get him. What I had to do this time, though, was I couldn't just take the picture for like the that's used for him, so instead, I searched for other pictures, and I found one of him fighting a Zanbamon. I was like, oh, this is fucking perfect. No one is going to get this. So, uh, a couple of people said... Okay, so and I'll explain this as we go. So this is the next... Um, here's the next Digimon. I have no idea what it's going to be yet. I, I literally don't, so... Take a guess. Um, <laughs> someone guessed that they thought it was like... Someone said they thought it was Centaurumon fighting something else they came really close um and then someone else thought it was Zan thought the entire picture was zanbamon and i was like no no and then a bunch of people did realize it was two digimon but they couldn't pick figure out who it was so the game is not over i'll keep doing it but i've won i no longer give a shit i've gotten my victory i had to cheat because i used two digimon but i never said that was against the rules but probably frowned upon so whatever so uh picked up a few cases so what this comes to is 
Um, we have to pick a case. This one will advance the story. The red ones will. Yellow, blue, or yellow and blue are optional. I don't remember the difference between them. Uh, purple, which should appear down here, is DLC, and then green, which we get from Digimon, is uh, is from Digimon. Uh, but the green ones are all fetch quests. I'm not. I did them in some in my own file, but they're like infinite. Like they can keep spawning. So I'm not going to do those until towards the end. We'll take the yellow one. My phone game was released, but there's a huge, really huge bug in it. Ah, please help me. Reward bank expansion drive. Don't really need it, but I'll do it. All right. And then this. Most of the time, most of the time, these teleport you right to the client. Game company employee. Y yes. Sorry, I should have it verified. Yes. Huh? That, that's understood. Goodbye. You're late. How long do you expect me to wait? And then our silent protagonist says something that explains it. God, it's so annoying to be silent. That was the boss just now, but anyway, I assume you're familiar with the case. I've heard, I'm the head producer, and today's the release of a game app we created. When you progress through the game and get to the boss, an error always pops up and the screen freezes. Uh, I'm going to be fired for this. I'm finished. So, I suppose you're the cyber sleuth? Please, I need you to fix this app for me ASAP. Hmm. Ah, this is terrible. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Connect jump to the staff cell phone? What if I just said no and just left? Yeah, of course. I don't know why they even ask. Oh, I forgot we had a Sarmon. Um, I don't really want a Sarmon. Settings. Hang on. Oh, I can't digivolve from here. Uh, oh well, we'll keep him then. Uh, yeah, so I've been progressing through my own file. I'm almost done with the game. Uh, I'm gonna level with you. I thought the game was kind of... Like, it started off strong. I thought sometimes it got a little boring. And, like, I was kind of on the edge of, like, I don't really know if I'm actually feeling this game. Like, it's fun, but it's just... I don't know, something about it. And then about halfway through, the game really picks it up. And those doubts were cleared. Someone actually made a post on the subreddit today saying the same thing. Like, they wanted to reassure people that it does get better. Um, I Don't get me wrong, I do like the beginning, and a lot of people like the beginning. Um, but it does absolutely get better. Um, it's There's something happens, and it's just like, I went from being kind of on the fence to, oh shit, I'm all in. Like, I need to see this through now. Uh, and I'm excited to get to that part. Uh, let's... Look, just because I gotta remember who I have, it's been a couple days. So Betamon, it's gonna take. Uh, well, that's easy, easy enough to guess. That's uh, Geckomon, Numamon, Seizuremon, Shell Numamon, and Vegemon. Vegemon seems like the easiest to get. Flamedramon we can't get. Uh, Magnamon we can't get. Vegemon we could get. Uh, or I'm sorry, wait. Huh? Oh yeah, Vigermon we can get, and then X Vimon we could get, but the cam isn't quite up there yet. What is the cam? Oh, we'll get there, never mind. I think I'll go with X Vimon for um yeah, I'll go with X Vimon, then I'll go to Vigermon. Uh Mamimon, Metal Mamimon, Super Starmon, easy. Toyogamon, Solarmon. Oh, I can get Solarmon, I'll do that. Um should I get Gatsumon on the way? No, because I need to get back to Modimon. Um I don't really like Starmon, but he is kind of tough right now. Actually, let's see. No. Vimon's tougher than him. Betamon's pretty weak. Oh, well, Betamon's you gotta go by intelligence, so he's the same level. Then Agumon, strong. Alright, Starmon is not worth having you. We're gonna go to back to Hagarumon. And then back to Modimon, which I can do now. Now that I've discovered him. So every time you D-Digivolve or Digivolve, your ABI goes up. Uh, which is your ability. Max is out at 100. I think I've just, uh, explained this before. I believe it increases faster if you let your Digimon get to its max level before Digivolving, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I, I, as in that's something I heard. I don't remember if it's true or not. We will get Tentamon. Have no fear. Uh, and Gatsumon too. But uh, that one's Solarmon, just because it's a palette swap of Hagarumon. I might as well get it. And then what do we got for Agumon? Uh, that is Geogreymon. We should be able to get him. Raymon requires 50 cam, which off the bat is kind of rough. Um, and then Tyranomon. If it were up to me, I would leave this just completely blank, but I'm going to have to get it at some point. And then that's regular Sukumon. So uh, we're getting there. This is max level. Okay. We're, we've got a decent team here. Actually, let's look at the farm. 
Black Agumon's looking pretty cool. Um, Black Agumon's looking pretty good. Um, do I want to... No, I'll, I'll leave him for now. Oh, I, it doesn't matter. I can't get it. I forgot about their max levels, so... I'll um, turn him into Vegemon. And then immediately turn him back into Black Agumon. I'll get, I'll get Lalamon after. Um, I almost said Raramon on protest. That's Garurumon. Oh, no, that's Black Garurumon. Um, trying to blank on that one now, but I'll remember it later. And that's Frigimon. And then Beamon can't evolve yet. Yokomon should be able to. Nope. Uh, Bukamon? Yes, we'll get Otamamon just to fill, fill him in 100%. And then Wanyamon, not yet, okay. And then Renamon, which someone was happy I got. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to mention. Um, also, I know this is gonna take a while every time I do this, but I, it's, it's gonna happen. Um, a couple of the comments, it's starting to get to things like, can you get this Digimon, can you get this Digimon, can you get this Digimon? I wanna kinda curve that. Um, I will use the Digimon that I, I like, just cause that's, I'm the one playing. Um, I will get them briefly. I might put them in the digi farm or something, but that's just more because I want to complete um, the silhouettes and everything. So you will see all the Digimon. Whether or not I use them is up for debate because there are some that I like using more than others. Uh, just play styles and stuff like that. So let's, uh, let's calm down a little bit on the suggestions. Unless it's something like this Digimon is super OP, like Devamon or Clockmon. Um, which Clockmon I didn't know had that ability. I guess Clockmon has a, an attack that does like a static 150 damage, which is really important early on. Which I praise Devamon for the same thing, because Devamon has a similar thing, but it's 200. Uh, Devamon is crazy helpful on some of the bosses, uh, at least for like the first, uh, I don't know, couple hours or a couple chapters. So I'm going to try and get him if I can churn one of these Digimon dark. It might be from like Black Agumon or Black Urumon, it's easy, or Black Agumon's easier. Talk to the Poyomon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I failed again. This boss is way too strong. I'll never beat him. <laughs> Literally me. Yesterday. Uh, what? Did the game mess up because I was here? The employee hasn't been able to fix the game. He's in trouble, right? But I can't stop playing it. I'm totally hooked. If that's what you want, bring it on. Oh, no. What a crazy hard boss fight. I don't know if I'll ever be able to make through this. I mean, I hope you guys can stay with me even after I lose this terrible, terrible fight. So yeah, most of the uh, Case Digimon, I don't think I've had any trouble with them. Um, the only time I've had problems was um, during the story bosses, especially with the harder difficulty cranked up. And there will be some, but they won't be for a while. There's a couple of characters who consistently give me trouble just because they have like strategies. Like they have one Digimon do this and another Digimon do this. and it, The way it meshes together makes it really sucky for me. Um, I don't want to name them because I don't want to spoil anything. Oh, I lost the battle too. What can you do, right? Okay, it's promised. I'll beat the boss as soon as I fix that bug. Ah, uh, okay. Could you could you go talk to the employee for me? Tell him I said thanks for the amazing game. See ya. And then he just went back into the depths of his cell phone. I mean, the problem wasn't really fixed. You're late. How long did you expect me to wait? Did you hear? If you worked here, you'd be fired. Did you hear me? If you worked here, you'd be fired. I'm in deep trouble, and you just disappeared somewhere. You're so cold, huh? And a little game music. The game's been running and it's still working. I beat the boss and I'm regressing further. Thank you, thank you. I don't know how you managed to fix it, but thank you anyway. I'll send your feet to the office. Phew, now I won't be fired. You should be with that attitude problem. So they'll teleport you directly to the quest, but they don't always take you right back. Oh, speaking of, something I should mention. Um, two people actually alerted me to this. I had no fucking idea. So when I said last part, that if you have a care, oh, hold on, hmm, you just barely succeeded then. I haven't received any information as the assistant at this, any information as the assistant at this detective agency. Please get back to me with the information as soon as possible. Well, anyway, you're not a police detective, so at times like this, you should just do nothing. As moving along, anyway, moving along, I need your help with something else. I've put it on your whiteboard. You can take this one whenever you like. Come to the office when you're ready. Ah, huh? you don't understand what I mean? I can't tell you here. That's pretty much a rule, you know. I don't know what the fuck that was supposed to be about. We can talk to Worrywart, female student. Burr, the back end is so cool. There's a little better here, at least. Um, so if you talk to people like that with the exclamation point above their head, usually it either leads to a case or it'll like um, 
be a clue for a case. So anyway, in the last part, I said the fastest way to get to Eden, or yeah, to, the fastest way to get Eden would be to leave her room, go up to the fourth floor, and then go through there. So here's what happened. It turns out you you can go to Eden straight from here, uh, straight from your TV. I thought that. I thought you'd be able to do that. So like, I think the first chance that you were allowed to like roam free, I tried going back into the TV to get back into Eden, and where it took me was it took me to um that first digital shift you do like literally in chapter two when you first touch the TV you go into that digital shift. I got I went back into there when I touch the TV again, so I just assumed that if you touch places, you could just go back to the digital shifts and stuff, and that the, like, mira and the, like, what's it called? The Mirage Room or whatever? The thing on the right of the Digilab, I thought that was just, like, a collection of them, so that it was easier to access. The Mirror Dungeon, yeah. So, like, I just went back into Dig Digital Network 1, and, um, I did not know that you can go back into Eden through that, so I learned that, I was in Chapter 15 when I learned that. I've still, like, been running around a lot, but it is helpful to know that, so uh, I'm glad I can pass the information on to you guys. <clears throat> you are going to turn into Solarmon. Yep, just a pallet swap. What's your skill? Shiny ring. <laughs> this does light damage instead. Uh, that's Clockmon. That's Newmon. He who shall be not be named. Uh, Vmon. Yep, I already checked this. Agumon. Black Agumon, I'm gonna have to digivolve soon. I'm probably gonna have to do it. I can go Growlmon, Cyclonemon. Oh, I'm drawing a blank on that one right now. Yeah, I can't remember. It looks like kind of like Kawagamon. Uh, Tyranomon and Dark Greymon. I can't get Black Greymon until uh, a certain point. Once I discover this Digimon, I should have an e easier time transitioning him over to, uh, what do you call it? Um, I can't brain. Transitioning him over to, uh, a Devamon. So, we're not in too bad shape. The good thing about the beginning is that your Digimon is such low level, they Digivolve all the time and heal themselves, so it's not a huge problem. Alright, so I don't... I don't know if Kyoko gave me that because I hadn't... You always have to turn the quests in by, like, coming back to the board, so... Um, and then Kyoko will give you, like, a little great work. What do you say if we a cup of coffee? Sometimes it's generic, sometimes it's related to the quest you did. Alright, so we have Wild Mysterious Digital Face. That's weird. Or... Search Wanted Hacker. Okay, this one's for Mirai. So this one, I think, opens up um, the green quest, so you can make it so your Digimon can take quests. There are lots of bad hackers in this world. The poor Digimon, don't you think it's just time for just desserts? I mean, maybe. So, basically run over to Mirai. Oh no, such a long journey. Digiline. Sai, you know, I still can get along with everyone. I mean, I want to, but can't wait for them. Try and talk to them. I'm sure you get along. So, the way the Digiline works, I don't know if it's based on the Digimon or their... I think it's probably based on their personalities. Like brainy, um, durable, whatever. Uh, I They they will give you different answers, but kind of the same prompt. Um, and then the character will answer the same way every time. So I'm, I've seen a couple translation errors. I, only like one in my game, but I've seen a couple posted in the subreddit. Where he'll accidentally respond to the wrong thing, but... It's not a big deal. But it is pretty cool to read them sometimes. That Sometimes they're funnier than others. If you're here, you must have taken up my case. I figured you'd naturally come, given your close ties to Digimon. Anyway, let's get straight to business, shall we? You've already been to Kowloon and Eden before, yes. Then that'll make this conversation much quicker. Eden is filled to the brim with hackers who view Digimon a little more than mere tools to do their bidding. Of course, said bidding is rather malicious and illegal in nature, to put it simply. So I've sought out your help on this case. I'd like you to go after one such hacker and, let's say, discipline them for their terrible hijinks. Hopefully, as one of their own, they'll learn much from your example to treat the Digimon much more kindly from now on. I think I read that wrong. Hmm, not every hacker might be so bad, you say. From the way you talk, I take it you've met some that make you so optimistic then. Well, take your word for it if you really do believe that. But that doesn't change the fact that there are bad, indeed bad egg eggs out there. Ones that have used the Digimon make them suffer terribly, so I'd still appreciate if you turned up the heat on such hackers, so to speak. Why do you talk in riddles? Thank you. I knew I could trust you to join me in such an important cause. I think I've already found an especially malevolent hacker lurking about inside Eden. This hacker seems to be somewhere in Kowloon level 2. This one seems to be particularly nasty. Hacker, you'll know why. That's all I have for you right now. Thank you again for taking this case. Once you're done, come back here and report back to me. Hi, hi. Um, so, Mirai is no longer waifu number one. <clears throat> There's a character who you meet in chapter 15, and that is all I'm going to say, because anything else would give it away, who I had never seen. See, I'm still doing it by, like, instinct, trying to go back to the elevator. 
Um, there's a character you meet who has replaced, who is now Best Girl. And anyone who's played will agree, and do not spoil in the comments for the people who haven't gotten that far. But, amazing. Just like my favorite of all time. Um, okay, so this is the, the way the chapter is generally going to work, is that you'll be... I thought that was a thing on the ground. Um, you'll start off... like The chapter will start off with like the plot, and then you'll take some cases. I'm going to do the optional cases every time, because um, I can see the hacker. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to do the optional cases because they give you really good things like farm expansions and bank expansions and stuff like that. Just generally things you will need. Um, so I'm going to do them. It might get a little, eh, kind of busy workish, but I think it's worth it. Um, sometimes I'll move forward a little faster, I guess, but I don't know. I think it's worth it in the long run, especially because that way I won't get my ass kicked. And I, I, that's been happening in my own file, so goddamn, I can't imagine trying to fight some of the bosses that I've fought while talking and being entertaining. So, I've said it before, but if you're doing a Let's Play, you're at like 75% of like your normal skill. Which, luckily for me, I like to think I'm pretty good at video games. So like, my 75 kinda balances out to like a normal level, but that's why I'll die in some like dumb things sometimes. Like, I don't know, the first fucking fight in the game, or the second fight. Um, just because I'm talking and not paying attention. Um, plus, battle difficulty on hard is... Uh, I think it's definitely hard sometimes. What it usually ends up manifesting as, either they'll, their attack will be ridiculously strong, or they'll um, their speed will be stupid high, so like they'll move like five times. I had a part where I fought a boss who I barely beat. I literally had eight HP on my last Digimon out of like eight Digimon in the party. Um, I beat them, despite them having nine moves before I went. I just quickly used a full revive, revive the whole party, and got one attack off. I was like, oh my god. But usually they have a weakness, so if they have a high attack and high speed, their defense is low, and etc, etc. This would be the hacker Miri mentioned. Talk to the hacker? No, I'm just gonna leave. Oh, you want me to stop missing my Digimon and give up hacking? The hell are you going on about? The Digimon program is primed for hacking. I'm using it just as it was always intended. What good is a tool if you don't use it, dumbass? Anyone in my position would use this for their own benefit. I see that look in your eyes. If you got anything more to say about what to do, you're just gonna have to fight me. Okay. I am confident. Oh, speaking of Demi Devimon. <clears throat> now if I could fight him like six more times. Not six, just three. I only need three more Demi Devimon. I hate panic. Panic sucks. Panic is confusion. And it doesn't let you move, so it's less than ideal. Mimon doesn't have um, a distinction. Someone actually mentioned all of the Season 2 Digimon don't have vaccine, data, or virus. I didn't actually put that together until they said it. Um, kind of annoying, but you know. Like I said, it's not super important now, but as we level up, especially we start getting to champion and ultimate levels, we're definitely going to want to have like a more balanced party. Like we want to have one data, one vaccine, one virus at least. And then if we have room in our party, we can have one that doesn't have any effect, but that's the ideal party because that way, if you're fighting someone who, say you're fighting a virus, you want to swap your data out for the one that's not affected by anything. Okay, okay, I get what you're saying, shut up already. Leave me alone if I promise to treat my Digimon better for now. Hate having to deal with ass wipes like you. What an asshole. <laughs> Sakura seemed to have repented. I shouldn't report back to Mira. He did not sound like he repented at all. Um, when you the farm is max level. Thanks, Mira, former waifu. Ugh, saying words like waifu and bay. I'm basically Spencer. It's happened. Um, I just need to pick up Neko Mitsume for my phone. It'll be fine. Um, what else? What have I been doing? Pretty much just playing this game and blasting through it. Um, I'm almost done. I, I hope to. I see. I've been kind of taking it slow because I know once it's over, I'm gonna have nothing to fill that void. Um, and I'm trying to put that off as long as possible. So I have. Um, I'm still gonna platinum it, which will get me some life out of it. Um, but once I beat the game, it'll probably just be clean up, where I'll just be doing various random things after. And uh, that's. That's fun, because like I said, I do trophies for a reason, like it lets me play the game for longer than I normally would have played it, but it's still going to be like, eh, it's just, it's not as good as the story was. Although there's supposed to be like a lot of good stuff after the story ends for like extra cases and stuff like that, and this game lends itself to good DLC, because you can just have these side stories and they don't have, you can just do them whenever, so I'm optimistic, and I'll, I'll keep playing when they add new mission packs, even if I do, uh, 
Uh, platinum it. I'm not going to just leave this game behind like I do with most. Alright, so let's turn that in. Now I gotta talk back to Mira again. You did you. Probably Digivolve someone in here, maybe. Perhaps. Probably Wanyamon, because he's at max level. Mira. Here's everything went smoothly for you. I'm so glad I called you to help me clean up Eden. Although, knowing how strong your bonds to Digimon are, perhaps the end result will work of fate. Ugh, I hate fate talk. Thank you. This is like my exact reaction is, oh, stop talking about fate. Hey, you should take it as a compliment. Regardless, thank you all. Thank you for all your hard work today. I expect great things from you going forward as well. Okay. Oh, you didn't think we were done with just this one hacker that took you took care of, did you? Sad to say, there's still numerous hackings out, hackers out there who are mistreating the Digimon horribly. Well, you're out taking down that first hacker. I drafted what you might call a hacker blacklist. Right now, there are 30 such outlaw hackers on the list. With this one, you just defeated, bumping the total number down to 29. It's really not that much at all. I don't know why I'm freaking out. Oh, you feel the number is rather high? I really don't. I assure you, I arrived at the final roster after only the most careful deliberation. Rest assured, you won't have to search for all the remaining hackers by yourself. I know you're only one person after all. On that note, have you tried out the Digifarm yet? If you haven't, I suggest you post haste. The reason for that is because if you order the Digimon your farm to investigate, they'll find out where the other hackers are for you. Once their locations have been covered, I'll send them over to you right away as new cases to check. You can handle them in the same ways today. Don't underestimate the strength of your bonds with your Digimon, big or small. Each one will lend you their aid and you need it most. So please do what you can to save these poor Digimon blacklist hackers. I expect great things to come with this. Heh. Great. Um, nope. Nope. Okay. Um, what did I do? What did I have them set up to do? I have them training. Okay. Um, so... Command. Hang on. So if he's the leader, he's a fighter. So if I have him training, it means he's gonna raise the attack of everyone else. But this is a perfect example. So Otamamon has a brainy personality, but the leader is fighter. So just by training, half of the stats go to brainy, so they go to intelligence, and half go to attack. For Otamamon, not really worth the attack, but that's kind of what I don't like about it. Is that like you you'll get a bunch of Digimon who have stats they just don't need, but. Whatever, there's not much you can do. Oh, actually, let's throw our uh, Digimeet at someone, just so I can... Ah, I know someone's going to be like, oh, let's throw a little up. Someone's going to take that out of context. I'll throw my random on. <clears throat> just like most of the internet. Oh, that's a... Very scarily accurate one. Alright, well, you, she knocks away one more. I'm switching to Black Agumon. So you can throw, like, a couple of times. Alright, well, fuck you. So her cam's up to 5%. Great. I know you'll appreciate it, Black Agumon. You're the best. Wow, look, he's eating them all. <laughs> I do like that they're just running around. It's kind of like they don't know what they're doing either. So, um, for the regular Digimeet, I think it respawns every so often. And then you have Power Pine, Intelligent Dove, and all that, so... You'll get more of these as it goes on. Digimeet itself will respawn every couple minutes, I think. Um, maxing out at 20. I don't know if that's real time or game time. Uh, but the others won't, so it gets a little bit... I don't think they'll ever reject, like, stat-boosting ones, like, attack, but... I've had... I've bought, like, um... What's this one? I've bought some exciting meat and had them reject that from me, and I'm like, Are you fucking kidding me? Do you know how much I spent on that? So, just be careful. Uh, let's... Digivolve. Can't do any of you yet. Maybe, uh... Betamon, yeah. I'll turn him into Vegemon and then Digivolve him back, just for the, uh, ability points. Just to raise the max level a little bit, too. Okay. Six. Whatever. He can go to level 34 now, though, so he can turn into any of the champions he wants. <clears throat> Cogsworth. Can't touch anyone yet. We'll probably go to Clockmon. Assuming my stat will be there. What is it? Intelligence 35. Yeah, we'll get there. Uh, Vimon. Again, nobody. Agumon. Could turn into Sukumon. I'm going to turn into Sukumon. Um, Sukumon's a virus type, not very strong, so I'm not gonna even. What is his uh, skill though? Does Sukumon have a special one? Makes it easier to escape uh, from battle. So regular Sukumon has that. I know some Digimon have ones where they increase the money you earn, and then some have. Um, and then it talks about the platinum ones. Any Digimon that has platinum at the beginning of your, its name has the ability of like plus. Um, uh, I don't even know the number. Plus, what's your max level again? 27, you're fine. Um, it's double XP. I couldn't brain. Okay. Yokomon. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Alekmon. 
It's weird because his silhouette, he's like on his all fours. I'm used to seeing him on all fours, but he stands. I don't like it. He shouldn't be standing. It, it just seems weird. He's like an all fours Digimon. I don't like it. It's like when you see a dog walk on its hind legs. It's just like, stop it. It's not right. It's unnatural. Uh, Wanyamon. Let's grab someone. Okay. I can do Doramon or Kudamon. Does not really matter because can't really go much further with either of them. I definitely can't do their max level. We'll do Kudamon for now. Um, let's see. He's max level is 22. 16, 18, 14, 16. All right, well, I'll keep it at that then. Okay, so that's Repamon. I do remember it now. Knowing that it's from Kudamon, that's that's what I remember. Who was I on before? It must have been Black Gabamon or something. Um, yeah, Repamon. Okay, that makes sense. I can, uh, I can see that. Uh, I could turn him into... Oh, this is the other Agumon. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to leave them sitting for now. You need to do you all soon. Okay. Just because I don't remember who this is. I want to see who it is. Actually, no. I'm going to do Tyranimon because I'm making this god... I'm making a new goddamn thumbnail. You guys need to see Tyranimon's victory pose. It is the best thing in the world. Uh, Tyranimon's memory is 6. I have 20. So if I get rid of Betamon, I can fit him. Okay. And he's a data type too, which is neat. He'll throw um, Cogsworth behind for now. Um, I'll just switch it up a little bit. Just throw a Tyrant one in there. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to take some more cases. Let's try and... Uh, I, think, I don't think I have any more optional ones. So um, I'll just do the main ones and then... Maybe we'll get to the next chapter by the end of it. HP Capsule B, what a terrible reward. So you've been working hard for me, really nice job. You two appear to be developing quite the unique, unique dynamic. You two seem to be developing quite the unique dynamic, if I do say so myself. See, I read it, and just I couldn't get it. Okay, so if you do that one, you get this one, where you fight off three hackers. Which seems pretty good, because you get some good money, and you get three really good training items. Um, I won't use the HP or SP generator, at least not until I need to. Um, they're just like, they're how training uh, gadgets work in Digimon World DS, except for everyone. And uh, there's kind of a cap on it, so you gotta use it a little bit more sparingly. Developer know-how is pretty cool, though. Um, uh, yeah, I'll do this one. Should be relatively easy. Just gonna go back into Kowloon. Ugh. So yeah, because the it had a little purple mark, it's a DLC quest. Um, it's a DLC. I don't. I really don't remember the distinction between blue and yellow, but they're both side quests. Uh, were you surprised to get a sudden case from me? Kinda. My apologies for that. However, it has to do with the blacklist hackers we discussed earlier. Some usual hackers have appeared in Eden, the ones who don't belong to any of the major hacker groups. But what makes them unusual is rather than being alone, these three are always together. And those with greater numbers come greater trouble for people in Digimon alike. What, what they do is pretty standard hacker affair. We can't ignore that this is a group of them either. Left unchecked, they, grow. they could very well grow. We don't nip this in the bud before they form into a proper hacker team. They, that could well spell trouble if you tried dealing with them later. No. That's why I sent this case as an urgent one. I need you to hurry up and take care of them before they can multiply. They should be hanging around somewhere in Kowloon Level 1, given their numbers. I'm sure you've prepared. Make sure you're prepared before you take them on, regardless. But <sighs> um. Right, something else I want to mention, so that's the first DLC case. I do want to mention, I think someone met, said that the DLC is free for like a month and then it's going to be some price. So if you're watching this, like, check the date of the YouTube video. If it comes out, like, if you're watching this months later, it might not be free. I don't know that for a fact, though. So, just operate on the assumptions free. If it's not, don't be surprised. Don't ask me. Don't be like, hey, it's not free. You lied to me. It's like, no, I didn't. I swear it was free when I downloaded it. Not that I wouldn't have paid money for it. Um, Alright, level one. It's not too bad. I do like they're walking in a single file line. When you st when you get three Megas walking behind you, they tend to, like, mess into each other. <laughs> so, like, they'll... It's kind of weird. Like, I can kind of make them do it this way, where it's like... They'll start walking in tandem. No, they're small enough where it doesn't work. Uh, like, I have a War Greymon, a Black War Greymon, and a Metal Gurumon, and they're constantly, like, moving each other out of the way and stuff. I think the first hacker is over here. No. Yes. Aha! And we got a Sunamon. So let's guard. Because I want to I want to get Tyranimon's victory pose. Okay. 
It's so ridiculous. He claps like an idiot. He's just like, <laughs> we did it, guys! <laughs> Yay! We're all gonna be. He looks like a red Barney the dinosaur. That's like that's what they made him look like in this game. This must be the hacker that Mirai mentioned. Doc the hacker. Yes. Why is he squatting? Just like he could easily just sit on those blocks over there. Why is he squatting? Eh, who the hell are you You're here to stop our hacking? Billing, scamming, Takashi. Ha ha, I get it now. I see what you're up to. You're one of those self-styled good guys who likes running around eating picking fights with big bad old hackers like me, huh? Now you come to take us on. Eaton's legendary three scammers, am I right? Alright, you got yourself a fight. I'm Takashi, the youngest of three siblings. I target you dumb young gamers playing free to play games, using my Digimon to sell them counterfeit items, and it's made me a real fortune. So hurry up and rack up the parents' credit card bills already. Time and money's a wasting. Alright, real real talk though. If he's scamming free to play gamers, it's fine because they they deserve it. Buy the game. Or find a game that's not free to play and buy it. That's not true. There's, I'm sure there's good free to play games. I just know that most free to play games are already scamming you, so you don't really need to add extra scammers. Uh, let's just use Fire Breath. So he's a data, so he's not going to do as much damage to Demi Devamon. In the beginning, that doesn't mean anything. Champion's going to beat Rookie. Um, but when it starts to be Mega versus Mega, it becomes a lot more important. I start having flashbacks to Magic Pendulum where Rock, Paper, Scissors suddenly, suddenly like the way to go. Oh, I never thought I'd lose to someone as scrawny as you. Repent, huh? What have I got to repent here? This isn't the end. My older brother's gonna swoop down and avenge me. I'm not repenting until you win against him too. Got it? Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. That is a really funny audio waveform that I just made. Alright. Next brother's over here. This must be the older brother Takashi was talking about. Talk to him? Yes. You're here, then that means you must have beaten Takashi. Or I could have just walked right past him. He was off in the fucking corner. Of the three scammers, Takashi was the one who did the operational heavy lifting. If he's down for good, I'll have to step in. I'm Mamaru, the middle child of three brothers. I sell elderly people ineffective health products and use their personal information to hack into their bank accounts and swipe their pensions. Alright, this one's a little bit more fucked up. I can't really get behind this guy. Come on, don't give me that look. I'm not completely heartless. Eh. It's, I mean, it says in the labels of what I sell that my that effectiveness may vary. If they buy my stuff, it's their responsibility. Wow, you're just a real shithead. The other guy, I could kind of be like, eh, but this guy, no. Alright, uh, let's leave Gazamon for Agumon. Because Pagumon doesn't have a thing, so... Well, never mind, doesn't matter. I'm just going to have to fight him anyway. Jeez, Fire Breath again. Like, how... That's such a non-descriptive attack. Just <laughs> fire breath. Okay, cool. Am I gonna use my my next attack, ice breath, or hard punch, or power punch? Like, come on, a little bit better than that. <laughs> I didn't think I, you'd actually make it past me. Not in a million years. There's still the oldest one of. Uh, there's still the oldest one of all of us out there. You haven't met yet, Suguru. Think you can actually win against him? Ha! Huh? I dare you to try. So like. I don't understand when they talk like that, and they've got, like, rookie and in-training Digimon. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, you look like you just found your first Digimon. Like, you can't come at me and just be like, oh, I'm the toughest. It's like, the, what? <laughs> You've bought me with an in-training Digimon. Like, get out of here. All right, so right at the end, off to the right. Um, talk to them. This must be the older sibling Mama we mentioned before. Talk to the hacker. Yes. You must be the one who's been roughing up my brothers, dating scammer Suguru. As you can probably already tell, I'm Suguru, the oldest of three scammers. Knowing my name and looking at me, you'd probably guess I'm a guy, right? Well, you're wrong. I'm neither a guy nor a girl. I don't have to spell it out for you, right? Right? When I first registered in Eden, I could only pick one or the other, so I reluctantly went with guy, but I didn't want to be forced to choose either one. It's a gray area. I'm proud of who I am. Why couldn't I have a choice that better reflected that? But the system just wouldn't have any of it, so I decided to say screw the system and rebel. I fabricate a lot of different avatars, sometimes I go male, sometimes female, then I hop on dating sites and steal money from dumbasses. That's my scamming style of choice. It's vengeance against an unjust system. You're in for a real world of hurt beating up my brothers and interfering with my personal vendetta like that. Bravo for Digimon for doing a really progressive type thing. I was When I first got to this quest, I was like, wow. Like, literally, that's, that's pretty cool of them to actually talk about something like that. There's another case that's actually probably my favorite side quest in the game. Um, that I'll point out something like that too, but I'm really surprised. This really is an adult Digimon game. And by adult, I mean they didn't fucking dumb it down when they brought the translation over. They, like, actually treated it as if the people playing are adults, which I can really appreciate. 
All right, still a shit Digimon. I don't believe it. My paycheck for two brother. My payback for two paycheck. <laughs> my payback for my two brothers. My vengeance in Eden. Everything's going down the drain. What a pathetic way for everything to end. I really am a nobody inside and out. I can't do anything right at all. Huh? I was the strongest of the scammers? Barely. You had three Digimon instead of two. And I'm a good sibling to Takashi and Mamoru no matter what? I, I don't know that. I'm a stranger. Haha, you're not so bad after all. You're a pretty sweet kid, kid you know that? Alright, I hear you loud and clear. I'll quit using my Digimon to scam people. Somehow, just looking at you, I feel that all that old blood just drifting away. I'll make sure my brothers actually repent too. Don't worry about that. I never thought I'd meet a hacker like you here in Eden of all places. They all seem repentant now. I better report back to Mirai. Now you can talk, you fucking mute bastard. Hey, do you have any siblings? I don't have any siblings. It's just me and my mom right now. I live alone now, though. In real life, uh, I do have siblings. I'm moving in with one. <clears throat> I have a little brother and a little sister. And they're both twins. Or not twins. That'd be weird. Uh, they are twins. Um, how old are they now? Are they 19? I'm 23. Their 20th birthday should be coming up soon. Oh, Alright. I actually just talked to my brother earlier today. He got Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm and he was like, wow, this is great. And I'm like, ah, but the story is shit, so. I don't know, he likes him. That's good. He wants me to play him and I'm like, I don't, he's, he's got all this time to play that game. It's like, I don't want him to beat me. My, my pride can't take it, so I don't know if I'll play him at all. That's the old brother strats right there. <clears throat> If you have the older brother, here's a pro tip. Don't ever play your siblings in games that you know you'll lose, and then you can keep up the illusion that you're better at video games. I could kick his ass in some games, it's fine. <clears throat> I'm talking like mainstream games. Like I can kick his ass in Battlefront, I can kick his ass in most games. I'm not too worried. But but fighting games, that's not my strong suit to begin with. Strong's true. Strong suit to begin with, so a little bit more sketchy about that one. We'll do this. We'll do the uh, other We'll do the other case, and then hopefully it'll let me save so I don't have to... Maybe it'll make it be like a cliffhanger type thing where I'll leave off halfway through. But, uh, yeah. That'll be this part. I might put it apart on Sunday. Uh, depends how much I can start filling my backlog. The, oh, I gotta talk to me, right? The whole reason I, uh, I didn't do Sunday was because I still have to record videos for my other games I'm playing right now. So Okami, Kingdom Hearts... Final Fantasy. Once I get a little bit ahead in those, then I'll start. Then I may, might start releasing on Sunday. Might being the keyword there. But um, I don't know. Just it's a it's possibility. It's not a guaranteed. I see. So there were three siblings. Had we left them alone, I doubt they would have opted to grow beyond that. Then, but this way we've killed three birds with one stone and managed to make them change their minds before it was too late. So I'm content. <sighs> Imagine it was hard work making it all happen, but. Thanks for doing it. Once again, fate remains on your side, I'd say. You'll find your reward back at the offense. I might have to talk to you. Um, sometimes you'll get lucky, and just by like just by beating someone, you'll be able to go right back to the office. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's not. Mirai is right outside, either. Sometimes you have to go all the way across like a fucking world. Alright, you get some pretty sweet rewards. Uh, what did I get? 300 CSP? So I'm a start as Cyber Sleuth. I ranked up. Mary is always an abrupt woman, I won't deny that, but she's always doing favors for us, so it's worth repaying her kindness wherever we can. What is my rank at right now? <clears throat> I'm ranked 2, I need 1,800 more. I think at a certain rank, uh, the most you'll ever need is 3,000. I think it might be like rank 4 or 5, it's just like 3,000 for every other rank, so it's not too bad. Most of the main story ones, I think almost all of them will give you 1,000, so it can happen pretty quickly. Not these. Or no, not these. Um, the, like, plot ones. This personal case helped me with the Matayoshi case without being noticed. Discretion is required. I'm trying to remember this one. Oh, I do remember this one. It seems that there is a criminal calling himself the mysterious digital face has tipped the police off about his planned crimes. He told the Shinjuku Mat Matagi, a cop who loved Shinjuku, that he was going to steal top secret police information. This is, of course, a situation for police to deal with. They put Detective Matayoshi on the Cybercrime Investigation Unit in charge of this. Such dramatic incidents tend to hurt the pride of the police force. The criminal manages to steal the data and gets away. The blame will fall on Detective Matayoshi. In this case, it will be a hard blow for us, so I need you to help Matayoshi with this investigation co covertly. Do you understand what I mean by covertly? Huh? You have a question? Who is this mysterious digital face? Perhaps he was inspired by the multi-face criminal Ranpo Ed Edogawa. I got his name from that. Back then, the mysterious man who inspired terror, madness, and children, Karagoa Akichi, 
But his name is Rival was a group of young detectives. You don't know about it because it was a bit before your time. Actually, even people in my generation too don't know about it. Who is this Shinjuku Matagi? I've never heard the phrase before either. It's most like a nickname of some sort. At the end of the day, it, it may be spelled detective, but it reads cop. Matagi means bear hunter. What? What do you mean by covertly? Matayoshi is not very good at this kind of thing. So I asked him privately if he needs some help. Jack Matayoshi said, This is a matter of pride for myself in the force and reviews, but I'm not going to let this go so easily. I'd like you to support him covertly. So please get to work as soon as possible. Huh? You want to know what you should do? This is about getting stolen info from the police, so try going around asking groups of thugs on the street for information. Cool. Because I fit right in with thugs. I'll try and find out what was said in that tip off. You go to Kowloon and ask around. Oh, not Kowloon. Alright, so if you, if you take a, if it's an official case and it's not part of the plot, you can always check. Yeah, so I was trying to wonder what if they meant Kowloon level 1 or 2. If you check case, um, usually it's very good for figuring out where you need to go. What level is Vimon? 12? You might be able to level up, but I'm going to wait a little longer. I did it again. I left the office. I'm still not used to it. People are going to yell at me because I'm going to end up, I'm going to do it without thinking while I'm like doing a story or something. I'm gonna go to like the top floor and it's gonna be embarrassing for me. <sighs> Alright then. Um, so I need memory ups because if I do Digivolve, I won't be able to hold all four of them. Um, I'll have to get rid of one of the Digimon if I want like two champions, maybe even three. Don't talk to me all buddy buddy. Oh, you've got a question. <laughs> Mysterious digital face. I've heard lots of rumors pre-reporting crimes to the cops is pretty bold. So they seem like they kind of know about hackers, but I've never seen any hackers with their guts. So what I'm hearing is that he's like, he's the kind of criminal who's like, I'm going to do this at burr, at this time, blah, blah, blah. And, and then he gets away with it and the cops are like, burr, burr, burr. We've all heard it. It's, the plot is old as time itself. Um, you know, pretty much. Uh, I'm trying to think. It's, it's it's a dumb example, but the only thing I can think of is Yang from uh, uh, Psych. The, the Yang killings, the season finale of three, four, and five, all dealt with Yang. I don't think uh, there were a couple things in the later seasons, but I don't in the first in season three, four, and five, I don't think Yang appeared in any other episodes. Maybe mentioned, but not like the headliner. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you dead. Let's leave it going. I wanna see like the full clap this time, Dyranamon. Perfect. <clears throat> I don't see but this is the problem, and I said this last part, is that every good thumbnail I'm gonna get, it's like for like the first like eight chapters, it's all in Kowloon. So like all the backgrounds look the same. Looking for someone, I finally get found. No. Waha, why hide? I'm the great mysterious digital face. Just talking, I don't even know. Mysterious digital face, lol. Thanks, the internet. Um, you're pretty, uh, pretty representative <laughs> of what I've seen before. Um, I always want to check here just in case someone's here, and they rarely are. It bothers me. But, like, I know these kind of games well enough to. Do. I hate Calvin Level 2. It's easily the worst out of all five levels. Um, like it's a piece of shit. I hate coming here. Um, but what was I gonna say? I think I always check that area because, like, I know that, like, just the way RPGs work. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to the end of Kowloon Tomb. Like, where the fuck were they? It's that one path I didn't check. <sighs> Especially with the uh, Digimon cases, the ones where they're like, "Oh, find my property. I lost it." And it's like, "Oh, okay." And then you find, and then it's just fucking just a sparkly thing on the ground in the middle of fucking nowhere. I hate them. Not fun. Um, I don't see anyone with a lock above their head. I seriously hate level 2 more than anything else. Level 3 is much better. Level 4 is better. Uh, level 5 is better. Boring. I'm so over Eden Lady. <laughs> Eden Lately. Can you tell me anything interesting? Yeah, I heard some rumors though. I don't know much about it. If something interesting is actually going on, make sure you tell me. So, um, the way this works, um, and it should be very predictable is that every time you have to talk to people, it's always like the last- you only need information from a certain person. It is almost always the person who's farthest away from your starting point. And it's starting to wear thin. <laughs> like, it's starting to get very annoying. Um, Alright, let's keep going. Did I equip Tyranimon with anything? 
No, I don't think so. Yeah, that could make things better, but not by much. Researcher, USB, and cam USB. I can't believe I didn't equip those. I didn't equip anything? What am I, an idiot? Uh, panic Barrier DX prevents confusion is pretty good. Noise Guard is pretty good for later, I guess, but not super important now. Oh, well, let's name him. Let's name him... VVVV. <clears throat> um, and then I can't believe I haven't done this already. We're in part four. This is ridiculous. Nobody has, nobody's mentioned this. Ah, now everything's right. Uh, and then Tyranomon. We'll call him, we'll, we'll be unoriginal. We'll call him Barney. I'm going to say this right now. If I see any comments where it's like, you should get this Digimon and name it this, don't do it. I will, I will deliberately not do it if you suggest it. This isn't a stream. This is a let's play. <laughs> well, it looks like you have something to say. Thank God. Yeah, of course I know. Yeah, the mysterious digital face is a hot topic around here at the moment. The cops are asking me the same kind of questions earlier. Wait, are you asking about him? Well, I've got... I'm not saying nothing to no cops. Cops and hackers are enemies, you know. The incident must be partially embarrassing for the police. The criminal admitted to the crime before committing it. I know a hacker who hates the cops more than anyone. Maybe that guy's in the mysterious digital face. Huh? You want to know where the hacker is? He hangs out in Shinjuku a lot. He's a fiery, moody, shady kind of guy. Cop or not, you're gonna, you're gonna want to question him. Okay. Cop hating hackers in Shinjuku. I just got the info on the tip-off warning. It brought me here to Shinjuku too. One way or another, it looks like our criminals in Sh Shinjuku. Go get him ASAP. Wait, I'm sorry. Where is he? Oh, Shinjuku. Right. I'm sorry. One more time. Shinjuku. Okay. Oh, you're from Kyoko's office, right? Yes, I am, old Deluxe. Hey, what's the oh crap look on your face? What are you doing here? Huh? You want to know what I'm doing? I'm on the trail of a mysterious digital face. I've come to Eden to ask around about him. Huh? You say that you hear the hacker who hates cops is in Shinjuku? Hacker who hates cops, you say? But how do you know that? Uh... Okay, well, thanks for the info. If Kyoko is getting you to do something, I want to know what it is. It's a matter of police pride. It's mine to take care of. Love the way he pulls down his hat. That dude looks like the most stereotypical Boston cop I've ever seen. Maybe it's just the hat. It's a very Irish hat. Maybe it's the detective's hat. Eh. Anyways, let, anyway, let's look for the hacker who hates cops in Shinjuku. He really just said that again. I can't believe it. Hold on, wait. He has another lock? Yeah, I got more to ask. Most people that really hate the Jake, the Jakes be the types doing bad stuff themselves? What? It wasn't even English. Oh, I have a memory up. I'm an idiot. That, that's gonna happen a lot. Um, export. Something I wish I'd done a lot more in the earlier stages. I I had them. It just it's that same RPG thing. If it's less than ten, then I don't want to use it. This is an emergency. But um, yeah, it's a let's play, so I'm gonna try and make it faster, and that means using fucking exports. Luckily, Shinjuku is in the real world, which is much easier to navigate, in my opinion. Mostly because the not random Digimon battles. <clears throat> uh, I'm hungry. I'm gonna make late night tacos. Hopefully, maybe, probably not. Uh, Shinjuku. Let's see. Looks like we've arrived in Shinjuku. What? What's this? We. All right. Are you in a mouse in my pocket? Oh, you met Matayoshi while you were asking around in Kowloon. I see. You told him about the information on Shinjuku. If Detective Matayoshi solved this case by himself, that information that'd be great. Just be sure, please continue your investigation, in Shinjuku. That was a needless phone call. Completely unnecessary. So what I like about here is that you have to cross the street. It they make it look the cars like will arrive as you get into the zone. They'll never go. So like it's really it's a nice developer trick where it looks like the streets are busy, but they're actually not. I really do appreciate that. I'm not just saying that. That's a really good way to get around it. What's the matter? You got something to ask me? Hmm, a hacker that despises police for far too many person just coming to mind, I'm afraid. Really now the hackers and police seem friendly to each other. Of course there are those who get along well. I do wish I had their luck. Eh, 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 eh. I'll bet it's this one. Oh, it's absolutely this one. Smiling police officer. Hey, how you doing? Something I can help you with? Police hitting hacker. Like, hacker hates cops. I saw this guy. He didn't look like a hacker, but he really hated cops. He was whispering something hateful about cops by the access point to the station courtyard. I don't really think he hates the police. I mean, come on. We are so cool. Someday I'm definitely going <clears> to... <throat> Alright, cool. Thanks, officer. You the best. 
I had a weird thing earlier today where my stomach kept growling in class, and I was just like, I, I mean, this is, this is starting to get loud. I don't want people to think that, like, it's doing it now. Uh, okay. What is it? You got something you want to ask? Yes, suspicious man. Thank you. What the hell? Who the hell are you? You think you're so important you're asking around? You're a cop, right? You're just hiding behind the power that is the state gives you. Tyranny, cruelty, that is a violation of my human rights. Wow. They jumped in Eden. So he ran from the access point to Eden. Let's go after him. Okay, good. I was like, if you make me choose somewhere to go, I'm like, I have no fucking idea. Alright, well. I don't feel like cleaning the farm today. Maybe I should go tell Mira. Don't say that. She said, seriously, stop being lazy. Um, Alright, let's just go right in. I hate the police. I hate them. I hate them. Questioning bicycle registration number. I don't have time for that. I need to get home. My favorite anime show is about to start. Am I really that suspicious looking? Am I really that shady? Police with the enemy. enemy. Police with the enemy. You, you're the cops' cronies. You're the little lap dog. My favorite part about that is that he says he's suspicious looking. He looks like so many other fucking. He's just a generic NPC. Like there's a bunch of people who look just like him. So Agumon's gonna do three times damage to him because uh. He's fire attribute, he's plant attribute, and virus. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, should be able to kill him in one hit. If, assuming Tyranimon isn't able to do it just by his pure strength. Nope. Okay. This is going to kill him. Guaranteed. You have the Zalus guarantee. Bam. Phew. That's good, because my guarantees can sometimes mean nothing. Alright. Decent XP. I like it. Everyone learned moves, that's nice. Whoa, whoa, where am I? Huh? Possessed by a Digimon, I see, I can't remember. Huh? Mysterious digital face, he stole a police police blah, 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 blah. Mysterious digital face, he stole the secret police data. What are you talking about? First off, I'm not a hacker, I admit it, I hate the police, but I was born with a strange suspicious vibe, so everyone always mistrusts me, treats me like their enemy. What the fuck are you talking about? Anyway, I don't know anything about the mysterious digital face. That is the most bullshit answer I've ever heard. Did you catch the criminal? Okay, just bring the criminal straight to the station and don't let Detective, detective Matayoshi see. Huh? He wasn't a criminal, just shady? I see, that's a pity. There's nothing to be done for. We need to do the investigation again. Please come back here. And then you're walking. Hey, you, what are you doing here? Hmm, surprise day. Hmm, you want to know who this is? This is the infamous mysterious digital face. I just arrested him. Huh? How do I know? This guy isn't a real policeman. He's just a normal guy in costume. This is what you'd expect from Detective Matayoshi. You've truly earned the title of Shinjuku Matagi. <laughs> right from the start, I never thought the criminal who, hate, who did this hated the police. Shinjuku Matagi was my nickname over ten years ago. The person who knew that must have really liked the police. No, he'd have to be a complete fanatic. When I was going around Shinjuku asking about this, and I ran into him, it came to me instinctively. When I looked into him, I found out he wasn't a real cop. He was a hacker who aspired to be a member of our cyber crime squad of the police, but kept failing the entrance exam. He broke under the pressure and admitted it when I cross-examined him. Wow, Japanese, Japanese police are truly excellent to be able to find me out so easily. <laughs> so now I'll get to spend all day every day with these police. Well, I guess that's not so bad. It's <laughs> a weird laugh. Well, feels like catching this guy is its own reward, but well, I suppose that's enough. I suppose just thank you for your help. I was only able to catch him because you gave me some important clues. You helped me save space. I thank you for that. Please pass my regards on to Kyoko and tell her I'm sorry for worrying her. As this case is meant to show that Matayoshi's fucking still got it. Right, so the mysterious digital face was safely brought to justice. You managed to preserve the honor of the police and force, police force, and of Detective Matayoshi. Good job. I suppose we should reconsider our low opinion of Detective Matayoshi now. I never had a low opinion of him. You shouldn't have either. We tried to support him covertly at first, but we weren't able to find the criminal by ourselves. He is an elite detective. That gut instinct of his—that's one of the greatest gifts you can have. Still, the Shinjuku Matagi, Matagi means a bear hunter, a person who can use the footprints and smell of a bear to track it down and move it in for the kill. Of course, the perfect nickname for Detective Matayoshi. Can this be over? Can we stop jacking off the Matayoshi? Alright. Uh, I think the real multi-face criminal... Oh, now they say multi-face criminal. That would have been so much easier to say. Was sort of a fan of the police and PIs. I thought they said please. Like, please. He's probably the first ever hot, cold personality type. What? Alright. I'm gonna save here. Just because it's been about an hour. I think next part we might have one or two more cases. Let's talk to Kyoko and see. Why in the world is it so cold inside Broadway? Is it something wrong with the AC? If you're not doing anything, find out what's going on. Yeah, so talk to people around. The AC quest should be the last one, or case, whatever you want to call it. 
and then we'll move on with the plot next part. Let's actually let's quickly go to the digi lab. Um, see if I can digi of anyone, do anything like that. Um, v v v v. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll turn him into that. Now he's an X V V V V V. And then Barney, nope. Uh, so champion to ultimate is around 26 or 30, so that'll be a while. Rex, uh, nope. Cogsworth, yes, I'll turn him into new one. Purely on the basis that I can switch him over. Um, so now, turn him into an Electmon. I just changed his whole fucking life. Oh, that's a Garamon, what am I doing? Um, uh, let's see, if I turn into that or that, I should be able to change more. Okay. And what do we got? Farm, Govmon Black. Nope, not Vegemon again. Renamon. Nope. Tomon. Nope. Eamon. Nope. Probably nobody. None of the rookies. Alright, we're good. So, thank you for watching. Uh, tune in for the next part, which may be on Sunday, maybe not. Um, be sure to download the DLC for some cool stuff. Um, cool rewards and whatnot. Yeah, while well, it's free, I mean, come on. Let's not talk about free stuff. So, thank you for watching. Thank you, and uh, try and blah. Goodbye.